Is Pokemon Unite a dead game? No. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm. Just kidding, but I want to give you my take on what I think is happening with Pokemon Unite. And my take might be worth as much as it costs to watch this video, which is absolutely nothing, but I'm going to give it a go. If you have been on the internet and played Pokemon Unite, you may have heard people bandy about the idea that Pokemon Unite is dying, or it's a dead game, or they're not listening enough to their player base, so that means that the devs are this or that, or the other. And some or all of this could be 100% true. All of this could also be 100% false. As with anything, the truth probably lies somewhere in the middle. But let me talk a little bit about the idea that Pokemon Unite is dead or the player base is waning. Let's start with the fact that as far as we know, we have no actual information that shows that the player base is getting smaller. It very well could be. And in fact, the way I would imagine the game's player base goes is, of course, launch, which is a huge, huge thing. And then mobile launch, which is even bigger. They get a massive install base, tons of people checking out a free-to-play game, and then a lot of people finding out that MOBAs are hard, free-to-play games aren't for them, and then they drop off. And then since then, they have a consistent group of players checking out this game. Is it going up or down? I don't know. No one has told us. The only thing I ever heard from Pokemon is that around the world championships, there were a ton of downloads for the game because a lot of people apparently hadn't heard about it, and when they saw the broadcast, they were excited. Again, that's just something I was told. I have no information backing that up. And the only statistics I've seen on players inside the game come from some Android numbers that show some revenue and some player base. And what it looks like is the player base is pretty dang consistent. And when new content drops, it spikes. And then there's a lull until new content drops and it spikes. And then there's a lull and it goes in little waves like this. This is all the information I have seen. If there's other information out there, I would love to hear about it. So that's first what we know about the player base in Pokemon Unite. Now, as far as we can tell, at least when it comes to updates inside the game, they've been fairly consistent with updates and releasing Pokemon since the game has launched. That hasn't seemed to slow down. It, did, it wasn't like they went from two or three Pokemon in the span of about a month and a half or two months, and now all of a sudden it's one Pokemon every two months or something, no more events or anything like that. It seems to be that the game is continued to be supported by the developers about the same way it has been since launch, with little updates here and there, balance changes, new Pokemon coming to the game, and then larger events throughout the year. We also don't know this for a fact and anything can change, but it looks like there's going to be another season of the Pokemon Unite World Championships starting up at the start of the year. However, nothing official has been said except that the official Twitters have talked about next year's championships, but all that doesn't have a concrete date or anything like that. I'm going to posit my theory as to why I think a lot of people might say that the game is dying, and that is because the communication around the game is often quite poor. It looks like the game goes through multiple channels, and the most important one putting out communication is their Japanese channel. Everything else seems to take a far, far back seat to that, and you really don't get any other information. I think this has to do with a lot of things, with multiple companies working on this game, this game going through a Chinese developer, then to Japan, then through TCPI internationally, and then out to a bunch of regions. I mean, this is a massive game that is worldwide, and I think communication-wise, they really, really are behind the ball with this game. And I think that's one of the most frustrating things for players. And with no communication, I'm sure that a lot of players are feeling like, what am I sticking around this game for? Am I going to be competing again, especially at the pro level? Are there going to be more Pokemon releases? What does the rest of the year look like? What does next year look like? Are there plans for this game? And I think that probably is quite frustrating for people. I've also noticed this not only with Pokemon Unite, but many free to play games are going through some really interesting monetization choices. Interesting is another way of saying, eh, maybe not so great. Recently in Pokemon Unite, we had Zoroark come to the game. It was gem locked, which a few recent Pokemon have been gem locked for the first week. It can be purchased after the first week, not for gems. It's gem locked for the first week 
and you must buy it with the Hollowware. That is the only way to unlock it. So clearly they are milking their whales, which is something I believe you actually could do to a whale if you were brave enough. I'm not gonna sit here in this video and defend monetization practices and things like that. I have a lot of different thoughts on how I would like to see a game like this implemented, but I also don't know the truth behind the scenes as to what it costs to make this game, how much money they need to make on a monthly, weekly, whatever basis to keep a game like this running and to keep a team employed and behind it. I truly have no idea so I won't even begin to say that I have the best monetization strategy in place in my head let me just say this about everything before I continue when someone tells you that the game is dying or this or that just understand that they have no idea what they're talking about in the slightest just like me they're simply guessing based on I don't know, however they're feeling, maybe some sentiment they see around the player base, things like that. They have no idea what's happening with this game. They don't. And like I said, that goes for me too. Now, let me give you my theory as to what is going on with Pokemon Unite. It might not make sense to you, but I think it makes a lot of sense. The Pokemon company is massive. They make an insane amount of money. They are the highest grossing IP of all time. That's right, they even beat out the MASH series. That is a reference that most people won't get, and those who do will think, why did he make that reference? Couldn't he have said Harry Potter? Pokemon could have a game like Pokemon Unite around for 10 years and it make no money and they would not care at all. Now that wouldn't be a good business practice, but my point is they don't necessarily need this game to be churning out money. However, it looks like they're trying to keep it alive and in the black with any type of monetization that they can. So it's possible that they're trying a bunch of different strategies inside this game inside Pokemon Go, inside anything, because they're trying to figure out how they're going to monetize their IP, not only in Unite, but across many different games in many different regions of the world. Now, regions, this is the most important thing about Pokemon Unite. And here's the thing, Pokemon Unite is not made by a Western company or a Japanese company. Pokemon Unite is developed by a Chinese company. And I think people really need to understand what Pokemon is doing positioning themselves here. I could be totally wrong, but I really think on this point, I'm 1 million percent right, even maybe 2 million. Wow percent right so Pokemon Unite paired up with a Chinese developer known for making MOBA games, known for making games that are popular on mobile and in many other forms, PC and things like that. They also made one on the Switch. So they partnered up with this company. The big thought here is they are going to work with a big Chinese company and they are going to get a foothold in China, get their video games approved in China, and then take their company from making $1 billion, $2 billion a year or whatever to $5 billion a year because they have multiple Pokemon games churning out money in the largest market in the entire world. It's no coincidence that Disney edits their movies so that they can be released in China. They don't just do it for fun. They do it because they want their movies in the biggest market in the entire world, the most important market in the world. It's not wherever you live, unless you live in China right now and I'm talking to you, but you get what I'm saying? They want to get big in this market. If this game can be successful and it can be approved to be released in China, that means other things in the Pokemon IP world could be released over there. This is huge for Pokemon. They want to be a part of this. Not only is Pokemon Unite their first foray into a MOBA, not only is it kind of their first foray into a more proper sort of team-based esports situation, which by the way, they're very interested in figuring out, but this is kind of their way of trying to figure out if they can become a brand that wins in the biggest market out there, a market where your products need to be approved, not just by you saying, hey, I'm releasing a game in China. No, you aren't. That's not how this works. I think this relationship between Timmy Tencent and Pokemon is the most important thing about Pokemon Unite. And maybe Pokemon Unite is making a killing right now. Maybe Pokemon Unite is bleeding money right now. But I think the most important thing is they keep this game around, they keep this healthy, they keep this partnership healthy, and they can get their games into China. They could literally shut down Pokemon Unite tomorrow if it's not working out. It's totally possible. We could 
literally just see something saying Pokemon Unite shutting down in a week. Sableye's the last thing. No more Hollowware. Thank you all for playing. Scarlet and Violet are coming very soon. That could totally happen. You could also see this game hang around for 10 freaking years based on having an okay player base and them continuing to release content and continuing their relationship and their partnership. You absolutely could. So when you hear people talk about the game dying, just recognize that they might be talking about some very valid concerns within the game, but we have no idea what's going on with Pokemon Unite. I really think that my theory about what this game is and what this game means to Pokemon, what this game means to Tencent is very, very clear. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments, but moreover, I think I needed to make this video because there is a lot of negativity around this game sometimes, and some of it I think is warranted, and at other times I'm thinking, guys, let's just play this game a little bit and enjoy it because one day it won't be around and it's a pretty dang good video game and I don't want us to excuse things that we don't like about it but at the same time we don't have any information and frankly they're not looking to us to figure out how they're going to fix their game. I think they have a pretty good idea as to what they're going to do in Pokemon Unite. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope I can edit this and make it snappy enough where it's not just boring hearing me talk about this for too long. All right. Love you. Bye. Oh, did I yeehaw? Yeehaw.